Michelle, is this maybe your favorite breakfast spot in all of Orlando? I think it's my favorite breakfast spot ever. Hello, and welcome to David's channel. I hope you're having a magical day. That's how you start, right? What's going on everybody? Dave K here today with Michelle A. You having fun today, Michelle A? I am having fun today, Dave K. Okay, Michelle A, let's go play and eat some delicious food from the cafe. Play on. Play on. Oh my gosh. Let's go. We're going to Le Cafe de Paris, right up here. It's up here. We've been to this one. They liked it last time. Had some food. Let's do it again. I'm ready for coffee. More coffee. Let's enjoy. Take a look at the menu. I, I, I'm not sure last time we looked at the breakfast side of the menu. Discovered this on the back here. Michelle discovered it and showed me, flipped it over. But I guess maybe we were here around lunchtime last time. Next time maybe we'll eat something. But I'm excited to try the breakfast here. We'll let you know what we think. Let's go do it. Take a look at the limited time special holiday beverages they've got going on here too. You've got the quiche menu and the Santa over here, as well as a couple of special cafe bonbons. We'll see what everybody thinks of those. Mike, I know you're a big cafe bonbon fan. Do you think it might be nice to try one of those? Yes, it does sound good. And I think it may be something special that we haven't tried in a long time. It's been, it's been a while since I've had a bonbon, so I am very excited about it. All right, well, you'll see what they look like when you get out here. Looking forward to it. In addition to some of those special coffees, we got a variety of other items heading our way. I did go for that breakfast sandwich on a croissant. It's gonna be really good. You'll see all the food when it gets here, so we'll, we'll just let you see it firsthand, but a lot of delicious stuff. Looking forward to giving it a shot. Take a look at our beverages here. Cheers, thank you very much. Yes, we have a lot of latte here, quite a lot. And Michelle, do you want to tell us what you will be enjoying this fine morn? Yes, this is the French salad, and then we have the, um, goat cheese and spinach quiche. Hmm, sounds uh, interesting. And I love these mugs here on the coffee, very nice. Excited to see what we think of those and other stuff to see here too. In front of me, I have the breakfast sandwich with the bacon and the cheddar on a, a croissant, because what else would you get instead of a croissant? Definitely not a croissant, that's for sure. That's, that's a whole different thing. And then over here, you've got, I'm just kidding. Same Okay, and then over here you have the Café Bonbons. You have the Krampus and you have the Santa Café Bonbons, special for the holidays. Mike, you didn't necessarily know what kind of beverages we have. Right. Yes. <laughs> well, let me tell you what's in these and see what you think, shall okay. we? Okay, all right. The Santa, closer to me, is a crushed chocolate chip cookies with condensed milk, caramel, single espresso, dollop of foam, whipped cream, cinnamon, cookies, and more cookies. Oh my God. And the Krampus, closer to you, is not coal, but cream-filled sandwich cookies. Condensed milk, caramel, single-shot espresso, cocoa powder, and liquid tiramisu, apparently. Maybe one or two sips, that sounds amazing. Uh, let's give it a shot. I, I'm, I'm actually looking at them, I'm starting to wonder. Uh, it kind of, it seems to me like this would be Krampus based on the description. But no, I guess those are chocolate chip cookies, and that's those probably your tiramisu maybe in there. I guess they both look kind of tiramisu-y. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be sugary. Let's try it. A couple more items here. We have the large chai tea latte with the cinnamon powder on top. Hope that works for you. Mike, does that sound good? It sounds delicious. All right, enjoy it. We tried those bonbons and we'll let you know what we think. I feel like the cafe bonbons are, are good, are good. They're very sugary. I'm not sure for me it's necessarily worth the sugar, but it was a special limited time thing. I felt like it was worth giving a shot. There are a lot of like cookie chunks and such in there, which I kind of like, but it really depends on your style. I don't think I'd get them again just based on the, the sugar quantity. I'd probably try something like the latte uh, again next time. But yeah, you know, bonbons, they're all right. Mike, your thoughts? Bonbons are good, but I agree with you. Too many cookie bits at the top kind of waters down the flavor a little bit. But overall, not bad. Nothing I'd go out of my way for. And a chai tea latte, how's that? Love that one, I don't know. I feel like that one's even better to me. Okay, so that might be worth getting again too. Mm -hmm. And last, but certainly not least, the smoked salmon sandwich on the bagel but the cream cheese looks really, really good. Enjoy. Ah, always a delicious restaurant here at Le Café de Paris. And a great recommendation, Michelle, to come back to. I would say that croissant was a delicious yet again, very similar to last time. Not sure what I got last time in terms of the toppings. I'll have to go back and look, but bacon and cheddar was pretty solid. I'd probably try some different toppings next time, but I did like the croissant. So maybe we'll do the croissant with um, the sausage or, uh, or something like that. Maybe I should try something a little bit leaner, like a chicken. 
but it was nice. And maybe I'll try the breakfast platter next time, but really, love the proteins. Bonbons, I would probably skip next time, but that chai tea and the latte, ugh, so good. Both of them really, really good. So probably try uh, like a coffee or tea alongside my entree next time and less sugary for me, but, but delicious, most definitely coming back. And Michelle and Mike, what did you think? You know, I really liked it. I really did. The capers on the bottom kind of added that salty to the bagel. The bagel was um, a little bit softer. Like, it's a it's a really fresh bagel. I feel like you can only get that when it's, like, really fresh. Not as um, as hard uh, toasted as some may like it, but I actually prefer it this way, and the salmon was delicious. Overall, great one. The chai tea. Go out of your way for that one. And Michelle? Big fan of the latte. The quiche was fantastic. And the tuna in the tuna salad was also fantastic. So highly recommend this place. Uh, make sure to grab a coffee or a tea. I think that's the real standout winner right here. If you had to answer though, like how much would you say you liked it? Did you like it a little or did you like it? Uh, I liked it a latte, David. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yes, so always a delicious one. Now, so much more fun to be had. Off to the next adventure. Now at the Vineland Premium Outlets. You'll see it's a little bit busy here. Uh, during the holiday season, you know, crowds picking up a little bit, lots of holiday shopping going on, but nice to be back. We'll look at some new stores, some old stores, some changes. They have Shake Shack now, seems like a replaced AMW. And you can take a look around, see what it's all about here today. Let's get to it. Here we are today, you can see, on the busier side, but we're gonna make our way right inside this way, and we'll show you where that change was made. Right across the way, just observe this walking in, you can see our usual dining venue, and across the way here, You've got Shake Shack, right where that AMW used to be. Shake Shack. I do like Shake Shack. Sad I never got to try the AMW here, but maybe we'll, we'll try Shake Shack one of these days. It really is a great spot. You're looking for those quick burgers, fries, and shakes, and, and tasty ones too. So keep that in mind. Again, definitely on the busier side, but lots to see and do, and we'll be sure to have a great one. A little bit shopping, looking for some new shoes maybe, and see what else we can find. I also just got the shirts recently, so lots of shopping. Let's do it. Now on the flip side of the outlet area, you've got Disney's character warehouse up here. Seems like it's a little bit more easy to get in than first thing in the morning on those other days, at least when they used to be, but still somewhat of a line. You've got the holiday decor, which is nice, and then we'll go back for our shoes in a bit in that direction. But so much to see, so much to do, and shopping. Never hurts, right, Shelly? You love shopping? I do love shopping. Favorite thing? Favorite thing? All right. Oh, is I don't it? know about that. But I do sure. like to shop. Okay, fair enough. Michelle, is this your favorite breakfast spot in all of Orlando? Yes. Yes, it was. I thought it was probably my favorite breakfast spot of all time. I just loved the quiche. It was fantastic. It was very French. Okay. Um, and the coffee was, was better than Starbucks. That's so awesome. So, can't complain. There you go. So glad you enjoyed it. It really is. It's a great spot. I'm sure we'll go back for more food, but glad we have a nice little spot now. We can go for that occasional favorite breakfast. And, and there's a lot of spots, I think, in terms of food we can enjoy more. I know Michelle loves her chewies. I do love my shoes, so but not for breakfast. Not for breakfast. We got a couple for you, though. Michelle, is this maybe your favorite breakfast spot in all of Orlando? I think it's my favorite breakfast spot ever. Whoa! Favorite breakfast spot of all time. Okay. Well, there you go. Maybe we got a new record on the books. And take a look at some of the bling in the, the warehouse here. All kinds of stuff. It's been a long time since we've been here. Oh, look at this. Watto. And you can see these guys are about 15, 10, 15, right around here for some plushies. We got all kinds of stuff, but it's a little bit lighter than we've seen it in the past. Maybe we'll check back in that shirt section we always enjoy. Oh, and there's Mike looking through some merch over there as well. A nice variety of new shirts here we haven't seen in the past, so nice to see the shirt collection has changed. It's been a long time, so variety of stuff. Who knows? Maybe we'll find something we like. And here's the shirt for me right here with Chippendale on the naughty list. Yes, you got a lot of nice variety here. Some polo styles. Some lots of polo styles, actually. And, uh, and so much more. This is a nice material here, too. I like this bar coffer one. $20 for this long sleeve kind of sweatshirt thing. And, ooh, I like this Bing Bong one here, too. Really cool. Take a look at these Star Wars themed shirts here. Love the Star Wars shirts. You got the Millennium Falcon backpack. And plenty of other gear to go around. Oh, nice section here as well. Look at this rainbow baseball hat for $10. Got some pins and stuff as well. Maybe I'll go for one of these. I like the design here. Very nice. And plenty of other good stuff. Look at this. Looks like Pinocchio themed this puzzle. Or like sketches. Ink and paints. Nice, I like it. Ooh, here's some Disney World drawstring bags. I like that too. Actually, it's a nice design. These are $8.99. But do I have enough drawstring bags? Maybe I don't. Who knows? I mean, can you ever really have enough drawstring bags? TBD. 
All right, went ahead and got a couple of things from the Character Warehouse. We got this drawstring bag for $9, nice, with the Disney World logo going up and down. And inside the bag, thank you, Monsieur Holder, we've got a hat, which I will proceed to wear. Got this hat right here. This one you saw, $9.99, so we got uh, 20 bucks. Nice piece of Disney merch. Thank you for those gift cards. Let's move on to some A-saves. It looks like some of these kiosks have changed here. Like, look at Pizza Conic right here. All kinds of nice snack shops along the way. Maybe we'll give that a shot at some point, or maybe not. But for now, heading into the A6 store. Mike, you ready for it? Ready! Let's do it. All right. Take a look at our shoe selection here. Quite a variety of shoes. And they moved the clearance section a little bit for us. So looking through these, seeing what seems good. You got your men's ones down there. Hmm. Some decent prices, maybe. So we'll take a closer look. Next stop, taking a quick look in Reebok. Again, just browsing to see if we can find some nice shoes. Face masks required at all times while shopping. Depends on the store, so masks in this one. I do see a few shoe options here, but I'm not really sure I love any of the looks of any of these, and I don't really know regarding the quality either, so it is, I feel like, kind of expensive not knowing how good the quality of shoes are, so maybe we'll try some at some point, but TBD. Now taking a look at Puma, it does seem like there's some pretty good options here for shoes in terms of deals and some of the quality looks pretty decent. So we'll keep looking around, see if we can find something we like here and maybe uh, give something a shot. Get my Ferrari sneakers, who knows? So the journey for the perfect shoe continues and we're also just browsing stores, taking a look, seeing what's around. But yeah, nice relaxing day at the stores, see what everything's all about and uh, keep looking. Now Mike and I are sitting back in some chairs. We're feeling the exhaustion. We take several laps around the shopping center here. Michelle's checking out all kinds of cool dresses and shoes. She got some Converse, I think, and some Lululemon, was it? But we're feeling it. Mike, you uh, you feeling your feet? I feel it, but the Hoka's help. I'm telling you, I'm trying to convince go. you, Hoka's. Those are good shoes. Yeah, not not sponsored here. Uh, not, but, not. But uh, yeah, I mean, I agree. They are good shoes, so so you know it's totally legit. But won't dive, I won't dive too deep into that, at least. Unless Hoka wants to give us a call. They always give us a call. But yeah, chilling back here for now, and it's been it's been quite a shopping day. Fun-filled, but, but definitely busy. Michelle and her merch. Michelle, how was the shopping adventure? Seems like you got a lot of great stuff now. I got two dresses okay. that were on sale from this um, kind of beachwear shop. It was super cute. I love the patterns. Nice. Um, and hopefully they'll look good on the, the cruise videos. Maybe oh. if, I, if I go on more cruises. No spoilers. Um, no spoilers. I don't know. You never know. You never know. Um, never know. But yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm excited. I love them so much. They're so bouncy. Okay, nice. Very nice. I like it. Sounds good. And I'm glad that you got some great stuff. So it's worth coming to the shopping center. You'd shop here again? 10 out of 10. Yeah. We'll shop here again. All right. Glad you enjoyed it. Let's get to it. And now off to where are we going, Michelle? I have no idea. We have no idea. Let's go there. Thanks so much for helping make this day an amazing, incredible, fantastic day. Don't forget to make your day an amazing day as well. Make sure you focus on the positive vibes, the silver lining in everything you do. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button and ring the bell to stay informed of all the fun, positive adventures coming your way. Until next time, Michelle. Play on. Play on. Thanks, bye.